and we were on. Hello everybody. If you're new to this channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Logan, and this is your home for timeless personal growth and development. I only have one question. You guys know what time it is? Story time. So get ready, get relaxed, go get your coffee, because here we go. Today's topic is how to get yourself out of a rut. So if you're just like any other human being on the planet, I'm sure you've been through a, a rut in your life before. Well, first, maybe, maybe, maybe some people don't even know. What is a rut? I'm being stuck in a rut. I mean, yeah, it's what happens when your car goes into a ditch and get your car stuck into a rut. But what, talking about like a life rut, a mental, emotional rut. What, it, what is that? It's when you lose a sense of purpose, when you lose a sense of meaning, when you're just kind of going through the motions and you feel like your life is basically on autopilot. That's what being a life rut is, where you're kind of moving with no real direction, no real purpose, no real drive, no real passion for what you're doing. You're, you're, you're doing things because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what world, the world has taught you to do. Well, I'm supposed to be doing something. So how do you get out of it? How do you move past it? How do you put yourself in a direction where you're moving forward and you're moving forward towards something that's engaging, that's stimulating, that's fun? How do you do that? You wake up in the morning and you feel... You feel tired, you feel like you're in your rut, and you don't feel like doing anything. For what, and this is not, this is not me saying, this is the right way to do it, guys. No, no, no. This is what, what, the things that I tell you in these videos are things that have worked for me. It's in my own life, my own experiences. Maybe what I'm saying to you are the tips I'm helping with you guys. Maybe it won't work with you. You're a different person. But maybe just listening to these videos, it may help you get the wheels turning your head, get the ball rolling on something that maybe, maybe not what has worked for me may not necessarily work for you, but it gives you an idea. It starts getting the engine rolling in your head of things, oh, maybe... This guy gave me an idea based on something he said. He triggered something in my head, triggered a thought that gave me an idea of what to do. So this is not me telling you this is the right way to do it. Your own, you're all your own people. You have all individual lives. What works for you may not work for me. But it may trigger something. It may spark something. So what's worked for me in times of being in a rut Is stop one stop overthinking it stop stop thinking like oh what am I gonna do with my life I have nothing to do I have no purpose like stop overthinking it just focus on what you have to do today and stop when you're in that rut stop thinking of the big picture because that big picture all is it gonna do it's gonna overwhelm you so what do you start with you start with Taking one step. One step. You wake up in the morning, you feel in your rut, what do you need to do? Grab a coffee and go take a shower. Start with that. One little baby step at a time will lead you to the next step. Will lead you to the next one. And before I know it, you've taken ten steps forward. And it may trigger something. And then when you get to start looking at the big picture, like, oh crap, what do, what do I want to do? Especially if you're a young person. I mean, you're late teens, early twenties. Like, what the hell am I gonna do with my life? What am I gonna do? Like, parents are pushing me. Parents are pressure me to f quickly find out what I need to do with my life. So what are you gonna do? 
Start by doing, just doing something. Doing anything. Even if it's, even if it may not be something you're crazy about, that you're engaged about, that you're really stimulated about, that's okay. Because by doing something, that will snowball into something else. I've done a lot of jobs and done a lot of things that I was never crazy about. But it, what, it, what it did, it led me to what I do enjoy. It led me to what I do want. For example, when I was in the Army a few years ago, was the Army amazing? Was the Army, Army stimulating? At, at first it was great. After a while, it became very, very uninterested un un to me. I didn't like the social culture. I didn't like the, the lack of freedom and creativity in the army. I didn't like that. But leaving it led me to other things. It led me to be a personal trainer. It led me to working in schools. It led me to do things. This worldwide pandemic led me to do these videos. I had the idea in my head, but when everything shut down, and everyone's job shut down, and then we were stuck in our houses, this gave this triggered me to like, okay, I need something to do now. I'm not gonna sit at home and put myself in front of a screen. I'm gonna start, turn the camera on and start shooting videos. So do you feel like you're stuck in that rut? Just do something. Anything. Because sometimes sitting and doing nothing and being in your own head and overthinking it sometimes can be the worst thing you can do. Because you're not moving. You're not being productive. But the simple act of moving and moving forward will lead you to the next thing. Same thing with going to the gym. There are days where you don't want to go to the gym. So what do you do? Don't think about the gym. Just pack your bag to go to the gym. Once you've packed your bag, okay, I've done that. And then move to the next step. And then move to the next one. But just be aware of the fact there are days where you're going to be tired. You're not motiva motivated. Even whatever you do, whatever you run a business, or whatever job you do, even if you like it, even if you are passionate about it, there, there are going to be days, man, where there are a lot of tasks and responsibilities that you're not going to want to feel like doing. No matter how great your job is, no matter how much you love your business and love running your business, there are always aspects of your job and your business that you don't like. You hear me? For all the stuff that I don't like, there are always things about our jobs and our responsibilities that we don't like, no matter how much we like it. The most ideal thing is that, oh, get someone to hire to do the things we don't like. But that takes money. But don't take what, what I'm saying overly serious. And don't take it to heart. Because what, it's the things that I'm saying are things that have worked for me. It may not work for you guys, but it may get the ball rolling of what you feel like doing. I'll give you, an, I'll give you another example. We've all experienced breakups before, right? What's happened before in my past? I experienced a breakup, and then you're frustrated. You don't understand why it happened, so what do you do? I turn... I turn to YouTube for answers. Yeah, maybe a lot, of, a lot of information I found on the YouTubes weren't great. A lot of it was trash, but I found, I found a, a couple of guys that were very beneficial. That actually, it helped change the way I thought about a breakup. Changed the way I thought about myself. It actually made me feel better. Huh, I didn't think of it like that. It's the act of actually 
doing something. Even if what you're doing, even if you're unsure, you're uncertain about it, it's okay. Because it always leads to something else. And that, and when you get to that next step, that'll lead to the third step. And then to the fourth step. And then before you know it, you're not even sure like what you were originally upset about, what you were originally lost about. Because it led you to so many different things that you do like. But it is okay to have those moments where you can sit and think about what's bothering you. Sit and think about it. But it's not healthy to sit and overthink and be in your head too much. Because a simple act of moving and physically doing something and getting out and moving and getting out of your head is always, always a beneficial, always the right step. It worked for me, maybe it'll work for you, but that's on you. And also don't get, don't get into the habit of when you're turning to people for answers, maybe you're turning to the internet for answers, maybe you're turning it to YouTube for answers. Don't get stuck in behind a screen for answers all the time because the answers are not you watching me. That's not the answer. This is just me maybe triggering something in your own head. But the answer is out there, out in the real world. And if you're constantly searching online, on the internet, and watching people to help you get out of your rut, those aren't the people that are going to help you out of rut. They're just to give you different ideas, a different thought process. When you go see a psychologist for help over a situation, you're struggling, you're struggling in life and you need help processing your emotions, getting through something that's bothering you in your head, own head, you've tried everything, maybe you're going to go to a professional. You're going to go see what they have to say on, on the subject matter. But psychologists, they're not there to tell you what you should do. They're there to ask you open-ended questions to get you start talking about yourself. And they're there to help you to lead and guide you into the right direction so you figure out what you need to do for yourself on your own. They just ask open-ended questions to get you to talk. A psychologist telling you what to do and what not to do. Like, this is the right way to handle your situation. This is the right way to approach life. No. They're there to get you to talk. And to get you to come to the conclusion of what you should be doing all on your own. It needs to be come from you and your own head and your own idea. Well, listening to me right now is just me throwing ideas at, at, at you and just getting you guys to maybe think in a different way. Change the way you think about yourself. Change the way you think about your life. And maybe that will lead you to some, something else and maybe get you out of the rut that you're in. I've been in, a, in plenty of ruts in my own life before too. How did I get out of it? Well, sitting at home and doing nothing and being my own head was the worst. But getting out there and actually doing stuff. Maybe searching for answers on the internet, talking to people in my own life, that helped. Oh, this gave me an idea. Maybe I'll go do that. Go outdoors and I'll go do this. But it needs to come from you. It doesn't come from anybody else. Nobody's there to tell you what to do or how to get out of your own rut. Only you can do that. But other people can always pass different ideas and get you to think differently. Maybe they have an idea that you haven't thought about yet. I'm, I'm sure in psychology there's a specific name for what I'm talking about. I don't remember exactly what the name is. The actual word of getting people to talk and get them to to the conclusions of their own ideas all by themselves. There's a word for it. It's escaping me right now. 
But if you are in a rut right now, if you are struggling and you don't know what to do, do something. The simple act of going for a walk and listening to music will make you feel better. Make you make you think about maybe doing something else. Maybe lead you to the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing. After that, it's a snowball effect. Any struggle that you have with life, the simple act of doing something will always lead you to the next step. Always lead you to the next step. And finally, you found something that you're passionate about, that you're engaged in, that, oh, I like this. This is fun. This is stimulating. Maybe building on this will optimize my life and will give me exactly what I'm looking for. Because waking up every morning and being engaged and enjoying and looking forward to what you're about to do, looking forward to what you're about to do with your job, with your career, with your business, whatever it is, nothing's better than waking up and enjoying it and looking forward to it. And when there are nights when you can't freaking sleep, because you're thinking of so many di different creative ideas, what you can do, and you, like, you fucking can't wait till the morning to start working, and you're getting frustrated with yourself, damn, I want to sleep, but I've thought of so many great ideas, and I want to start working now, I can't wait for the morning, that's when you know you're, you're in the right place doing the right thing, that you're not in a rut. But it's okay to be in a rut. It happens to everybody at every point in our lives. No matter what it is. Career, school, dating, family. Every, everybody ends up in a rut. I'm not here to tell you how to get out of it. I'm here to tell you tips that have helped me. And maybe it's done something for you. If you are in a rut and you're still watching this video, almost 18 minutes in, stop watching this video. Stop watching me. Get off the YouTubes. But don't forget to like and subscribe. And go out there and do something. And on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and it was of value to you, like I just said five seconds ago, you can like, you can subscribe, you can watch past videos of the Storytime show, and you watch uh, book reviews that I've done as well. All the book reviews that I've done has been beneficial to me in my personal growth and development, and check out the book reviews, and maybe it'll help you as well. And I will see you all in another life. Have a great day, and go do something, no matter what it is. Bye.